Your whole life you make plans. Plans to find that someone special and plans to work toward retirement. Then something unexpected happens that could ruin it all. Now what's your plan? Call Michaels and Smolak today. We have a game plan, the better game plan. For the past few years, Lights on the Lake has set records for attendance. Last year, 35,000 cars drove through, and this year is on pace to have even more. All that traffic is great for many businesses in the village of Liverpool, but not for neighbors who say it's unsafe, especially on weekends. This past weekend, we had a fire department truck that had to come into the, go into the oncoming lane of traffic because it was gridlock from the entrance to Lights on the Lake, it hides, all the way back to the throughway. Neighbors say they don't want to spoil the holiday cheer, but they do want the county to take a look at those other red and green lights of the holiday season, traffic lights. Movell has been asking the county to have a traffic study done since 2007. When cars start clogging the roads, Lavelle says many frustrated drivers block intersections. A simple solution would be have to have officers at each of the intersections to ensure that they're kept open so that you have a flow of traffic for local people or those that are visiting. The county parks commissioner says Lights on the Lake has been a huge success and the county is doing its best to manage traffic flow in and out of Onondaga Lake Park. So as a program grows, there's there's always room for improvement, and we're we're ready to to uh, collaborate with uh, the village of Liverpool and and uh, use any of the county resources that we have to, uh, you know, take care of any issues that the village has. Lansley says he has met with Liverpool's police chief in the past, and will meet with him again to talk about the traffic issues. Reporting from the village of Liverpool, I'm Alex Dunbar.